Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at how we can transition from one scene to the other and then finally render our, our video. So in here I have two scenes, so I have scene 01 which is the one that we were working on earlier and then I have scene 02 which is in a completely different scene where there is a penguin at sea basically. So uh, let's start how, see how we can tra transition from scene 01 to scene 02. So to do this I'm simply going to pick scene 01 from the project window from here and place it inside of a new composition, like that. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit in here and see till when that goes. So this scene goes to around here. I'm just going to cut this so that I have it organized in here. So edit and split layer and delete the last part of the layer. So now I have that, that scene on its own in there. So now let's add scene 0 to like that. And you can, of course, simply switch from one to the other, like that, with a simple cut. Just place them on each other. Or else you can use our pre-made transitions. So to use those, we can go to Transitions from here and then pick any of these. You can enter inside of them and preview them to see what they, what they look like. So we have nine different transitions in this case. And then you can go ahead and add these. So let's go to scene 0 to So and I'm going to use transition 0 to in this case. So simply place it right over here, over the scene that we're going to introduce, and make sure that they are aligned like that. Perfect. Now what I need to do is go to the to the scene 0 to in here and make sure that the track method is visible in here. If that is not visible, simply toggle these switches from here. And then I'm going to select alpha mat and see how, how this works or else um, for certain transitions you might need to use alpha inverted mat instead so see what which one works with that specific transition and select that one in this case alpha mat should work well as you can see in here now it should be transitioning perfectly for us let's just start this so like that you can see the transition where it simply translates from one scene to the other very quickly in there and the last thing that I, I usually like to do is I simply go to where that transition ends so somewhere around here and as you can see there is no transitioning on screen here and then simply split this layer again so edit and split layer like this the this transitions won't affect the rest of the of the scene in here so finally we can render our project. I'm going to select the duration that I want to render in, hit N on my keyboard to give it an end point, and I'm going to render basically this part. I can go now to composition and either go to add to Adobe Media Encoder queue or add to render queue. Now in this case, since we don't have any actual character animations in here, we only have the video file that we have imported inside of this project we can go ahead and render inside of Adobe Media Encoder queue since of course the animations are already rendered and that won't really slow us down so let's go to Adobe Media Encoder queue and now we can give it a, a, an output name in here so select your rendering destination here and simply click save and from preset in here so in this case I'm going, I like to choose A0264 Make sure that the export video is on and the export audio is on if you are using any audio. And from down below in here, use maximum render quality. And then target bitrate, I like to use something like maybe 35 in here, so that it's quite, quite high. And then simply pick, click OK. And that's basically it. We're going to hit the green button and finally we have our video in here rendering, as you can see in there. Perfect. So I really hope that you enjoyed this toolkit. Of course, should you need anything, feel free to, to ask us. And uh, of course, you can also refer to the user guide if you, if you are missing something, if you would like to, to know something, since that would be packed with all the information that you should need. Thank you very much for watching.